The term Locktober refers to a viral challenge throughout October designed to take participants through 31 days of chastity. So if you're a lucky little sub playing with a partner this month, keep watching for seven sexy and creative games you can play this Locktober. to this channel, hello and welcome. I'm Miss LX and I'm so glad you're here. If you enjoy this video, hit like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you won't miss anything new. And if you find this content helpful, you can support the work that goes into this channel over at my Patreon, patreon.com slash LX Erotica. And if you go there today, you'll see my exclusive Locktober calendar. So to start out, I wanted to walk you through each of the four themes you'll find in my month long chastity challenge, preparation, worship, humility, and presence. Now, I have designed these themes into my Locktober calendar because I wanted to make this process as simple as possible for my fellow doms out there and as intense and erotic as possible for you subs eager for the cage. That's why the area of focus over the first seven days of Locktober is to prepare the submissive's mind. This is accomplished as the submissive becomes mentally preoccupied with the proper motivations and desires for chastity. I have designed the second week to build upon the preoccupations established in the first seven days as the submissive focuses their attention on losing themselves in worship to their dominant through tasks specifically designed to elevate the dominant and reduce the submissive. By the third week, the submissive should be ready to deepen in their humility by being subject to a variety of tasks and denials that target any remaining ounce of pride and fully breaking the submissive down into their rightful place of surrender. The final week culminates into an intense challenge for the submissive to maintain their focus and stay present with their dominant, even in the midst of extreme teasing and temptation. So again, just go over to patreon.com slash alexerotica to get instant access to my full October calendar with 31 creative service-oriented tasks and acts of sexual denial for your submissive to perform every day. And because we're already a week into Locktober, I wanted to share seven activities directly from my chastity challenge to get your creativity flowing and inspire some play of your own. Starting with two of my favorite tasks from week one. The submissive must orally worship his key holder for 30 minutes and he is subsequently punished if he fails to bring his key holder to climax within that time. Ooh, it's gonna be a good month, isn't it, ladies? Another favorite from week one is the submissive must write out 10 reasons he enjoys serving his key holder and then read the list to her out loud. Now, I enjoy this task because it especially speaks to our theme in week one, preparation. In such acts, we're preparing the submissive's mind to abandon his own desires and will and instead direct all of that mental focus to pleasure and honor his key holder. As I mentioned just a few moments ago, week two of my chastity challenge is all about worship. So the acts of service definitely intensify in a delicious way, such as the submissive being required to wear a special apron of the key holder's choice or a full French maid's outfit, and then cook his key holder's favorite meal and serve it to her while he kneels at her feet, waiting patiently for another directive. During week two, the submissive is also instructed to wash his key holder's feet, provide her a foot massage, and paint her toenails, all while he is gagged and unable to speak, leaving her in a beautiful, peaceful, quiet environment. 
Now, this not only reinforces the power exchange and encourages worship in a decadent way, but it provides an element of cruelty and an intense area of arousal for your submissive to fight through if they have a foot fetish. Now, as a sadistic degrader, I find week three of my chastity challenge quite enjoyable, as the focus is on further reducing your submissive by leading them through acts of service and denial specifically designed to humble any sneaky areas of pride. And this can be accomplished through both humiliation and objectification, such as the submissive being required to hump a pillow in their highly frustrated state while their key holder watches. Or dominance, if you're feeling extra generous, you can unlock your submissive and use them for sex while simultaneously withholding their release. The key holder should find her pleasure the key holder should reach orgasm and then lock the boy back up. And the final chastity game I want to share with you today involves a little shopping trip as we really challenge the submissive's focus and presence in the final days of this challenge. So my recommendation here is to take your submissive shopping with you for a new strap-on and dildo. Build the energy. Get in their head a little bit. Choose the largest one you can find and make them buy whatever you desire, knowing that it will likely be used on them before they will be unlocked and released. So are you participating in Locktober? And if so, which of these chastity games do you plan on trying? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so comment below and let me know. And again, if you want 24 more creative ideas to take you through my chastity challenge this month, just go over to patreon.com slash alexerotica and get instant access to my October 2022 calendar. 